week's worth of teens and 20s, day and night, highs in the 30s. These subtropical fish and tropical fish just can't take it. Teresa and I decided to get in the car and head down a little south of here to Corpus and to the beaches and see what kind of damage has been done. Close to Indian Point Pier at that little lagoon across from the man-made reefs across the highway. Oh my gosh, what do you got here? 27-inch trout all day long. We got some big croaker and I think we got a dried up mangrove snapper here. Kick in. Let's just try to save the last trout. Maybe the sun will warm him up, honey. Black drum swimming. He's trying to warm up. I think maybe the drum and the redfish might be some of the ones that do the best. Really dark. He's hard. Yeah, he's he's struggling. Now there's one black drum struggling to survive. Drum are pretty tough. Drum and redfish, red drum. We may still have a good crop of those guys. They're pretty tough. It's now in the 40s, and he's just kind of just sunning in the shallows, warming his blood. They're in the shallows trying to warm up. today and sunny they're warming up tomorrow's gonna be 60s next day 70s so if they made it this far they should be okay warm up a little today it'll be cold tonight tomorrow will be even warmer the ones that didn't make it to today that we feel for you know there were some bigger ones on that side I saw the ones on this corner yeah when I saw them I saw up here see them here there's a back jump and a big old sucker trout yeah. oh wow got 24 and a half 25 something like that drums about the same isn't it yep there's another drum swimming over there oh is there over right there yeah. well that's good news all right we're at Bob Hall Pier we're gonna check the fish here if the fish here find it too cold at the beach, they can just head south. That, my friends, is a red snapper. Show sure no. Packery Channel. Yeah, there's one red that didn't make it. How big is he? He's got a 27 almost. Nose to tail, 26, 27. Wow. Oh, wow. They're stacked right here, man. I see their backs. Yeah. 
There's hundreds. Oh, wow, yeah. Well, sadly enough, the Texas Coastal Bend has experienced a large fish kill. The fish that are left are stunned and just trying to survive. I think we're going to leave them alone for a while. And then when the temps do pick back up and we start fishing, I think we're going to practice catch and release for a long time. Y'all stay warm, take care, and we'll talk at you soon.